Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my SPF routine with you. Now this is my like dedicated SPF routine. So middle of summer, beach days, if I'm going out into fully exposed sun for a lengthy period of time, I will do this routine. Through winter, I might pick one or two of the steps depending on what I have on for the day and how much sun I'll be getting. So to start off with, clean face, I am going in with a vitamin C serum. Now this is the Saya Skincare Glow Serum. This has vitamin C but also hyaluronic acid so you get that boost of hydration as well as the, ben as well as the benefits of vitamin C. The reason why vitamin C serum is such a good option for um, a morning application is because it helps protect your skin. So from the UV light, from pollutions from all of the environmental factors that your skin is exposed to during the day. That is why a vitamin C serum is so great in the morning. It also gives you a really healthy glow. One thing to note with a vitamin C serum is depending on the brand, the potency, um, how often you're using it, how much you apply, vitamin C can irritate the skin. So it's good to do a patch test, only apply a small amount. Um, and really just investigate the product that you're using before you buy it or try before you buy if you can. So I'm just applying two small drops and that is enough. And I'm just patting it in. So next I would apply a lightweight gentle moisturizer because we're applying sunscreen afterwards. It really just depends on the time of year, what I'm applying after the um, moisturizer, what type of sunscreen. So that's totally up to you what you want to use. So I'm gonna jump straight into the sunscreen. I have two sunscreen options here, both from Ultraviolet. Now, the reason why I have selected these two and I've been alternating between the two depending on how my skin's feeling on the day, and also what type of finish I would like to achieve, what makeup I'm applying afterwards, there's a lot of variants. So Queen Screen has been particularly popular on social media with a lot of people, you've probably heard of it before, and this is a dedicated SPF 50 plus sunscreen. It is lightweight, but it's super hydrating, and it's almost like skincare. Um, built into a sunscreen. Uh, it's great for mature, for dry skin, but does suit any skin type. This also contains kakadu plum, so great for a hit of vitamin C and hydration, antioxidants. It's uh, really nice on the skin. Now, this is a chemical sunscreen, not a physical sunscreen. So it is not natural. Um, it is cruelty and paraben free, but I really wanted something that was a dedicated sunscreen to really protect my skin. So that's why I opted for something that may not be so natural, but is still doing something great for my skin. One thing I like about this is it does not look like sunscreen on your skin. So you can see it's blended out really well, even though it is such a high SPF rating. It's not thick um, and it does absorb quite well. I find it definitely gives you a dewy hydrating finish, but I don't think it feels oily for me. However, um, I think it will be better suited for people with mature or dry or combination type skin. So you could probably get away without wearing moisturizer with this, particularly in summer, this could be your skincare basically. Now, if you're looking for something a little more mattifying, if you have oily or acne prone or sensitive skin, they also have a lean screen. Now this is more of a physical sunscreen. It's SPF 50 plus as well, um, but it is a mineral mattifying sunscreen. It's fragrance free, cruelty free, par paraben free as well but it is a physical sunscreen, so the zinc is the main active ingredient in this one. And I found that this was a little bit thicker to apply. I'll show you on my hand in a moment. Um, it didn't dry out my skin. Um, definitely a lot more mattifying than the queen screen that I'm wearing now. And this also has a tint in it. It's a colored sunscreen. So you can see definitely a lot thicker than the queen screen. You can see you still get that nice hydration there. It blends out beautifully. It's, uh, it doesn't give you that white cast and it does set to more of a matte finish without drying. So for added protection um, through summer particularly, I like to apply a mineral 
uh, foundation and the two that I really love using is the Le Mav BB Cream or Loose Powder and that gives you a natural occurring um, additional SPF through the mineral pigments. Usually if you wear a mineral foundation you will naturally get around an SPF of 15 just from the mineral pigments themselves. So I've just quickly spot concealed where I needed to just under my eyes and on a blemish there and I'm going in with the Le Mav uh, mineral foundation. This is in the color medium. This is a great way just to set everything and add some additional protection and also oil absorbing through summer without being drying. The Le Mav mineral powder is great even for mature skin because it actually contains uh, vitamin C and rosehip. So it's non-drying, it's great for all skin types. I really should put sunscreen on my ears. I actually had to get um, something cut out that could become quite dangerous and it was actually sitting behind my ear here. So ears are very important. So another great um, ultraviolet product is their lip balm or their lip gloss. I did have it. <laughs> Kids destroyed it. It was actually a really beautiful uh, lip gloss, shimmery, really natural, non-sticky, and it's great SPF as well. I'm just using good old Burt's Bees at the moment, uh, but it is great to protect your lips as well. Now, once you've done that, you can basically just go in and do your normal makeup routine. It's really actually a very quick morning routine uh, for summer. I'd love to hear from you down below with your favorite SPF products. And I'll also leave a link below to the other video that I filmed a couple of years ago with my favorite SPF products, more natural, organic, uh, like tinted products. So again, that's why I wanted to film this. It's a little bit different. It's more of a dedicated SPF routine. Uh, but let me know what you think in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.